Hello there. Welcome back to the Bonita Omaha show. Estamos contentos que nos acompañe el día de hoy aquí en Bonita Omaha. As you know, Bonita Omaha is a bilingual show. So therefore, today we're going to be going back and forth English, Spanish. Como usted sabe, ahí en casita, Bonita Omaha es un programa bilingüe. Así que el día de hoy, pues vamos a estar yendo inglés, español, en fin, platicando de este evento que es muy importante. So, Marcos, tell us more about Cinco de Mayo. Why is it important and what would you like for people to know about Cinco de Mayo here in Omaha? A lot of viewers, they want to know why Cinco de Mayo is important. We have a lot of groups from North Omaha that signed up. They bring their schools, their dances. So, why is Cinco de Mayo important and how can people get a hold of you to sign up and be part of this event? Sure. Well, this year's festival is May 6th through the 8th and along historic South 24th Street. And it's just, I think there's some things that we never realized is Cinco de Mayo is Omaha's largest local event. You know, South Omaha has groomed Omaha's largest local event. Um, and we have the largest festival in Omaha. So that's kind of two things that we can brag about. The, the other cool thing is this festival brings about $7.5 million back into our economy. It brings in almost a quarter million people over three days from six surrounding states. You know, we got vendors that come in because everyone's heard about us. TripAdvisor ranks our Cinco de Mayo Festival one of the top five in the country. We get vendors that come in from Denver, Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas City. We got people coming from all over, you know, Des Moines, Sioux City. They're coming in from all over. So we're on the map and we're recognized right here in South Omaha, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. That's excellent. Y bueno, pues, contentos de que pase 5 de mayo en Omaha. Nancy eh, Montañez, eres, eres organizadora. ¿Qué cosas van a pasar en esas fechas que son viernes, sábado, domingo, 6, 7, 8 de mayo? ¿Qué está pasando esos días? Estos días vamos a tener pues este a mucha comida, vamos a tener este bailes, este folclóricos, vamos a tener este el, el desfile el sábado, a muchos grupos que se van a presentar, cantantes, um, también este los los rides, vamos a tener este el carnaval. Um, este año vamos a tener un show un magic show de este de un payaso, entonces él va a estar con nosotros presentando su su este programa también. Um, so va a ser desde el viernes, vamos a empezar este, con la coronación de las niñas uh, para el Mr. and Mrs. Program. Y después vamos a tener un concierto grande el viernes. El, do, el sábado entonces empezamos con el desfile. Y el desfile, um, casi siempre tenemos más de 100 participantes, um, diferentes grupos. Y, y sí, exacto, vienen de, este, de, de todos del sur de Omaha, del West Omaha, de muchos participantes. Y lo importante es que es este, mucha diversidad, muchas este, culturas diferentes que es, tenemos aquí en Omaha y que a, a lo mejor no sabemos de, de todos los grupos que existen. Y eso es lo bonito de, del 5 de mayo. Pero, y después el domingo vamos a empezar con este, la misa y también tener um, programas en todo, todo el día. Eso los invitamos a y que los vengan. los caballos, the horses. Oh, sí, también los caballos. Sí. Good. Sí. Well, Marco, now that you're letting us know about the horses, could you just also kind of rephrase back and tell us what is going to take place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the viewers that uh, we, we're, we're having the conversation in Espanol. Mm -hmm. But now, for those viewers, what is going to take play, fr place Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? You should do like the commercial. Come down, May 6th to the 8th, <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, Omaha, family fun field day for, for everyone. No, <laughs> um, you know, Friday we'll kick off with a concert and, you know, we'll have two stages going, uh, DJ and the Miss program. Uh, and then, of course, food and vendors will be going all along there with the carnival rides. Saturday we kick off with the parade at 10, then we go into the health fair, and then, of course, live music and food all day long. Um, and then Sunday, um, we kick off with the mass, the Spanish mass, with, with the mariachi. And after that, we'll have the Los Charros, you know, the, the cowboys will be down there with the horses, doing a little of this and that. We'll have a concert later that day, and then just continue with music and rides and food and everything, you know, right from L to Q Street all, all weekend long. Where do people can find out more information about this event? Is there a website? Could you let us know about the website? Yeah, the, the website, it's been updated, so it's cdmomaha.com, cdmomaha, which stands for Cinco de Mayo, 
you know, omaha.com uh, and then in Spanish, what would you say? Y en español es cdmomaha.com. Excelente. Well, thank you very much. So, Marco, in regard to the uh, venue, when it comes to the 24th Street, some years ago we had some uh, spaces that were not used for the event. This year it appears you're going to go all the way to L Street. Tell me more about those changes so people are more confident that there will be enough space for people to walk safely and interact with one another. Well, it's going to be an outdoor event, right, from May 6th to the 8th, and it's going to be right on 24th Street from L to Q, so it's going to be spread out. You're going to have carnival rides, you're going to have vendor, uh, vendor booths and exhibitors, but that'll be, think about that, you got L, so M, N, O, P, Q, you got five blocks spread out, and then you got the plaza, so plenty of space to move around and social distance and space, and, you know, if you, if you want to wear your mask, wear your mask, mm -hmm. if you feel comfortable, sanitizer, all that stuff, but... Otherwise, we'll have plenty of space, you know, to move around. Excellent. And there will be a health fair as well. People will have a chance to learn more about any other programs, health-related issues. Yep. Um, anything else that you would want to add up before we end this part of the interview? Um, I, I think there's still time to, you know, register for booth, yeah. parade, um, the dog contest. Basically, they can go to the website, cdmomaha.com, and find more information. and. Mm -hmm. CDMOmaha.com. Excelente, pues muchas gracias allá en casa por vernos. We appreciate you for joining us today and we appreciate the fact that you are interested to know more about what is going on South Omaha and with the Latino, Hispanic community. And agradecidos que nos están acompañando el día de hoy y pues que usted quiere saber qué está pasando en el sur de Omaha. Um, is there a, a way to learn more about social media activities will there be someone posting on facebook instagram what's going on will you guys have presence when it comes to social media yeah definitely look for us for our, our cdm omaha on, on facebook and we'll have information there we'll be posting on that weekend of course ahead of time we'll be posting so yeah lots of posting going on <laughs> all right fantastic well Thank you for joining us with MB. Uh, estando aquí con nosotros, I'm just thinking in two languages right now. <laughs> so I hope that the information that you have learned today will help you decide where you're going to invest um, your time when it comes to May um, 6, 7, and 8. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of things to do, a lot of planning to do. Usted tiene muchos planes que puede hacer para mayo 6, 7 y 8. Así que lo invitamos en casita. Prepare los, el dinerito para ir. A lo, a lo de festividades del 5 de mayo. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy. Mm -hmm.